Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission for the weekend of September 20th through 22nd of 2024. So we're going to go ahead and get started and head out to the anomaly and see what's going on. I switched ships, as you can see, uh, using the gunship this time. And we're going to check out the anomaly, see what's going on at the Nexus. Hope everybody's well this weekend. And be, as a reminder, uh, for those of you who have been subscribed to this channel, uh, as you know, YouTube tends to unsubscribe you on occasion. So please check to see that you're still subscribed. Otherwise, uh, please hit the like. And if you do like what you see and you haven't been subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. All right, folks, so let's get started. We're going to head over to the... Uh, Nexus over here inside the anomaly. Check out, see what things are going on right now. Uh, we got our symbol at the top indicating that we do have a special mission available for us. So let's see what we've got. Uh, looks like we're unearthing ancient bones this time. So this is going to be uh, digging up bones on a planet. We're going to get 1800 Quicksilver plus this holographic analyzer, it's called. Uh, pretty uh, expensive piece of equipment usually, but we won't know with that until we get it. When you're also getting out of this, it looks to me anyway, I'm going to get another 446,000 units. So, yeah, go gosh, you know, uh, I'm going to really need it. As you can see, I'm running low on credits up there. So let's go ahead and get started and start our mission. All right. And we'll check out the Quicksilver vendor when we're done, see how things are going over there on all the things that we can get. There we go. All right, off we go. As usual, as you exit the anomaly, it will send you into hyperspace to a system of its choosing, or Sean's choosing, as the case may be, Sean Murray from Hello Games. And any moment now we'll be exiting. For some reason in hyperspace, the uh, wings on this thing, the uh, turbines tend to shake a little bit. I'm not sure why. But it is what it is. And when they go out and come back on, it means we're about to exit. Okay, and here we are. In the Kekseo system. Alright, so where are we headed? Let's see, it should tell us in a moment. Looks like right over there. That yeah, reminds me of a milestone from a mission, from uh, an expedition. It's going to choose the planet that's furthest away from us. So as we slide into here, we'll check it out. Looks like uh, vile brood detected. We've got ancient bones, copper, paraffinium, cobalt, a damp planet. And we'll be checking that out. Looks like I still have polo on my dashboard there. You know what we should do? What we should do is remove polo for just a moment. Where is he? Uh, let me scroll down here to see what kind of room. I got room right above him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall him for just a moment. And we're going to put in our squiddy guy. There we go. And we'll put Polo back in. There we go. A little more maneuverability. And now when we exit... Oh! Huh! We have a different one on there. Not the one I'm looking for, but that's okay. We'll check that out in a little bit and see if we can't get our uh, little squiddy guy to show up. So we're at a target planet. Now you notice that it's not really pointing us at a general spot on the planet. We can land anywhere we want, basically. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the terrain here. Well, it's not flat, but it's not mountainous like we're used to sometimes. So I'm going to head over here to these hills on the other side. We're going to boost our engines just a little bit, give myself a little more power. And I think up on these hills would be a good spot. Looks like we're in the middle of a meteor storm, too. <clears throat> it's possible, anyway. Sure are a lot of meteors coming down. If it is an actual storm, you could get hit by one. This looks like a good spot to settle down. Let's go ahead and settle down right here. Did I just find a curious deposit? Quite by accident? Let's see. Sure enough, look at that. And a pretty decent sized one, if I do say so myself. Not tremendous. This is pretty good. So for those who want to see it, let me go through this. And if you look, hold on. Top right corner, there's your coordinates. Negative 53.40, negative 94.27 on this planet. Um, and the planet in question is should be in the Euclid system. And you can see, yes it is, it should show you the coordinates there at the bottom left. Uh, so those are the glyphs 
for this planet as well. So in case anyone wants to find this to see how much we get out of it, let me switch over to our hijack laser and we'll see how much this gives us. So we got one, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11 in this one grouping here. Not bad. You might want to check because sometimes there's some underneath the ground and I don't see any more, so we're good. All right, so how much did that give us? 7,708 runaway mold to get an idea of what that would translate into. Hold on. Switch over to the exosuit. I got too much garbage in my inventory. There we go, 778. That'll give us 1,541 nanites just out of that one grouping right there. I'm going to go ahead and start processing that. And in the meantime, I'm going to build that up. So I could always use the extra nanites. We all could. It takes about 15 minutes to do that many. 20 minutes for a full load, if you will. All right. So let's take another look now. So it's, it's directing us over here, saying we got some natural burial site about 800 meters distant that way. 870 that way. So let's take a quick run over there. Now, most of you may not have the ability to jetpack for long periods of time like I can. So, if there's a storm or something going on, you can jetpack a little longer. But if not, use it sparingly, that's all. There we go. So, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take a long, little bit of a longer jaunt from this point once my jetpack is charged up fully. There we go. There we go. And we can always pull on our ships, of course. And there we go. Okay, so let's see what we got. We're going to switch over to the terrain manipulator, of course. Oop, careful. Got whippersnappers over there that'll max some life out of you. We don't want that. Alright, so we are gathering, it says 12... Bones. Whoop, hit a little hard right there. Alright, looks like we're here. And it looks like this spot has two. And only two. I'm going to go to our widest setting so we can clear out more of the dirt. There we go. Okay, so first one is a tiny one. And the second one is a bigger one. We've got a rare item, 841 years old, so it'll be worth a little bit more. This is a good way to get... Ooh, got some copper right here too if you guys want any. I always could use some. I'm going to go to a medium setting and pull just this out of here real quick. We can always use precious metals. I know this is not a brand new save. I've got over 400 hours in this save alone. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and gather up some copper while I'm here because I could always use it. Like I said, we all can use it. Turn in a chromatic metal. You can use it on other things. And I've got a lot of stuff in inventory and cargo containers. But gather what resources when you can when you stumble across them. It's, you know, a smart thing to do in any save, on any uh, particular uh, mission you happen to be on, even if you're not on a mission and you're just exploring a planet. Go ahead and take care of things like this. There we go. Okay, that should be good. So, the next set is... Do we have one, like, right in front of us? Is there one further down? It says we've got one right here. I thought we gathered both of them. Excuse me, sir. Don't see it. Let's get rid of this rock over here. Oh, that rock is part of the terrain. Okay. It says we're like literally right here. Let me boost away a little bit and see if I can see it. Oh, there was one more bone. Nope, that's further away. Well, it must be very puzzled because I don't see anything. 56. It says I have a bone right here. So it looks like we have a glitch going on here. It thinks we have a bone right in front of us for some reason. And I don't know about you, but I don't see anything here. We'll do this. Let's clear some land, shall we? And take a quick peek. 
because supposedly there is a bone right here. And I am very curious now as to what we've got going on. So now if there was a bone here, we would have stopped. Our uh, terrain manipulator would glitch out on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? Ha ha ha! See? Yeah, everything went dead here because basically No Man's Sky crashed. You don't have that happen too often now, do you? So we're booting up No Man's Sky again. Wow, that's something. We're 10 minutes into this, and we already had No Man's Sky crash on us. The good news is, is that, and maybe some of you don't know this, especially you newer players that are out there, No Man's Sky does do auto saves on occasion. Um, so we may not lose much in the way of any ground here. So let's see what happens here. We're going to go right back in. And I could go in and I could bring this into uh, some video editing software and edit what happened, but I'm not going to do that. Let's go find out what happened here. So I'm thinking what we saw happen is that it thought there was still something there and it really wasn't. So the cloud wasn't updating properly. The procedural generation wasn't working. So let's see what happens as we boot back in. We're going to get the, there it is, No Man's Sky. Howdy doody there in the middle of our screen. So we're going to get comments on that too. One of the things I like about this particular uh, game when you're when you're loading in like this through the heavens, it's showing you all the names to the systems that are out there. Not all the names, of course. It's showing you certain names through certain systems, and you got to wonder who was who was naming these things. And you know it's procedurally generated. In other words, there's uh, an application, I'm sure, that they developed that names every system as you approach them or come across them. Um, that just randomly generates a bunch of letters and, you know, vowels into a name. But some of these things are absolutely ridiculous and could not be pronounced in any language. So, there you are. Wow. Did it literally kick us all the way back? It sure did. Holy mackerel. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to No Man's Sky all over again. It looks like it kicked us all the way back to the Nexus, like almost like the cloud was not working. Look at that. See, now this time I'm getting explosive drones. And it acts like my mission never happened. Wow. Okay, let's try this again. I'm beginning to wonder whether we don't have a problem at this time. Let me see what happens here. Okay. Now, again, normally, No Man's Sky... Oh, you know what it is, too? When you're in one of these... Um, instances, if you will, through the anomaly, and you're probably, some of you have played this game a long time, already recognize what happened. It does not autosave. The autosave feature is turned off for these particular missions. So you have to complete the mission all the way through, or you don't get the reward. So that's why we're starting over again. Now you know. So that's what happens when you have not completed the mission properly. There we go. So we're going to head back. Hopefully it doesn't crash on us this time. That would kind of stink. And we have really no way to save it. In other words, we can set up a save beacon. And if we try to save, it'll tell us that we can't save in these particular missions. So this becomes a training video. Congratulations. You've just learned something about No Man's Sky. So we're just going to head straight for the planet. We could, we could head for the emblem on the left-hand side, but we don't need to. So, and we're not even going to bother with Stu's Weekend Farm. Not sure why that's there, but there you are. We're going to try to stay away from abandoned um, places on the planet. Any of the abandoned stations and stuff like that. Because that will get us a vile brood that will suddenly appear. Alright, so it looks like we have, what is that, water down there? Yes, it is. So we'll head for the hills again. Okay. So here we go again, round two. No Man's Sky wins. One to nothing so far, right? Okay, so we're not gonna let it do that again. 
Alright, so where are we going here? We got a site right in front of us, and looks like we got two bones literally right here. So let's go ahead and grab these real quick. There we go. Wow. Wow, okay, this is fantastic. Look at this. We need to get together 12. It looks like we're going to get most of them here. Holy mackerel. Okay, there's one. This one's special. 1,800 years old. Look at that. That's two. Three. Four. There's five. Ran, and there's a rare run there. Okay, good. Wow, talk about a good find. Uh, six, seven, looks like eight, eight bones in that one spot. Wow. So let's take a quick peek where we are. Hold on. So yeah, negative 10.24, positive 72.28. There you are. All right. So eight in one spot. Fabulous. That doesn't always happen. So we got one 475 distant. It's telling us there's another bone here. There actually is one 921 distant. So we're not going to let it fool us this time. We're going to go for this one. Okay? And we're just going to head over this way. We're going to ignore it. Because obviously there's a glitch in there that's causing us to... Uh, causing it to think that we've actually got bones there. So we're not going to fall for that again, right? And we're going to pull the ship in at the next location. Now unfortunately we can't save, so we've got to be careful. We only need four more bones and we're complete. So I don't know if this is going to happen to everybody else. So please be careful. Ah, look at them all. Look at that. Okay, we'll get them all the rest here. We're done. This is it. Another special one. Look at that. Two. We only need three. We need one more. We'll grab that one. Another special one. Four. That should do it. And if you want to grab the fifth one, if you're kind of greedy, go ahead and grab it. There we go. We got them all. All right, we're going to pull the ship in. I'm not going to mess around this time. We want to get right back to where we need to go. Now, because we have to bring them to, as you can see at the bottom right, we have to do a scan and bring them to a local osteologist. We want to make sure that we are set and ready just in case we have to fight something. So let's get in our ship. We're going to do a quick scan. See? Let's see, where are they? It says that they are... Sentinels are alerted, but I don't see any of them coming towards me from here. So I'm assuming that they're going to be there when we get there. Let's go ahead and head over. And it's pretty close by. We're only 15 seconds out. So we're probably going to have to fight off some sentinels here. Now, if you're in multiplayer mode, which I am not, someone may have already fought them off for you. Look at that, near the freighter, too. Isn't that interesting? We're going to come in right here, though. I'm going to land just a little bit further away. That way we can approach. As you can see, progress saved, but position not saved. So, got to be careful. Here we go. Nothing yet. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy and see what happens. The Gek asks no question, but simply holds out a hand expectantly. I get a sense, uh, get the sense, an anonymized donation from Specialist Polo must be behind their willingness to assist. So we're going to show them the samples. So 12 Gek Erskel. Erskel, really? Runs their eager hands over a number of the samples before selecting one to scan. Reluctantly returning the bones, they transmit the scan data the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. So we got fortunate here. We didn't have to fight any sentinels, but doesn't mean you won't have to. So please be aware that that could be a thing. Feel free to gather stuff from here if you wish. There's obviously some save beacons and things like that you can gather. I'm going to hold off on that for now. All right, back to our ship. And all we need to do now is just head back to the Nexus. 
All right, off we go. So instead of a real quick, uh, you know, unearthing some bones and getting out of here, this turned out to be a little bit of a mess. Let me put the anomaly over here, where it is out of the way of the asteroid field, so I'm not fighting through asteroids to get to the uh, entrance here. There we go. So absolutely fascinating. I haven't had uh, No Man's Sky crash quite like that before. So be careful that it, if it doesn't, if it tells you that there's bones still there, they may not be. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of a patch that may have to come in order to fix this. So keep that in mind, guys. And it may just be me. It may not happen to you. That may only be me. So be, please be careful. All right. So we head back to the Nexus inside the anomaly, and we turn in our reward. Complete the mission. And you get everything in you, your heart desired. Now, before we head over to the Quicksilver vendor, I'm going to do something because I'm a little bit uh, gun shy. I'm going to jump in my ship and jump back out again to get a store, restore point. There we go. Now, we haven't lost anything. So that's the good news. Let's check out our Quicksilver vendor. Let's see what we got. Great exotic items, number one. So, it looks like this unlocks at Tier 3. We're at 91%. So, those of you who do the Anomaly missions, not just this one, but all of them that are in there, that'll increase that number so we can get our third tier unlocked. we got a new poster. It's a bake sale poster. I've already got these two, as you know. And there is going to be another set that'll come in here once this is complete. And it should be fireworks, if I heard correctly. I think Captain Steve found that out. So, that's what we can get from the Quicksilver vendor. So that should take care of our mission today, folks. No new news, except that I will not be streaming Saturday. Uh, so don't watch for me. I've got some events that I'm taking care of on the side, some family things to do, and we'll be taking care of that. But you will see me next week. So thank you again for watching. Again, please hit that like and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section. Be glad to get back to you. Take care, everybody. And we'll see you at the next. We'll see you next week at the next mission.